Good day. Steve Bedell here, your EXP Realtor in the Villages, Florida. Coming at you again today with some more market information to keep you up to date on just what's happening on real estate in the Villages today. Now, a couple of big announcements. First, as always, don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We've been really uh, getting a lot more subscribers lately, which is great and helps our algorithms and allows me to spend the time to bring you more things like this. I have a couple of big announcements today though. This is the last two weeks in the villages. Uh, your stats like I usually do. I'm doing two weeks, not four. And this is going to be the last week I'm doing a weekly video because I think it makes a lot more sense to do a monthly video because uh, week to week, you know, you can't really pick up any trends or figure out w just where the market's headed. I had four weeks on before, but in any case, it gets and be uh, a little more easy to understand, I think, if we go month to month on this information. So, I'm going to be doing that. There's that reason why, but there's also the reason why I want to make some more videos that really tell you more about what things are like here and that will be really helpful to you and keep you coming back instead of looking at the market stats every week. Uh, so last week we put out a video uh, or the week before, I don't know, re <laughs> recently, I've been doing a lot of them right now, the top five reasons why to move to the villages and we usually get on these videos maybe a couple hundred views, 250, but we're well over 2,000 on that video. So that just kind of confirms my suspicions that I'm going to be coming at you with a lot more uh, thought-provoking, interesting, more information about the villages instead of just the stats that I think is going to be really helpful to you if you're considering moving to the villages, moving to another house, just want to know a little more about it, maybe you live here and Hey, it's a big place. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot to learn about. But in any case, that's what we're going to be doing. So, market video today, last week. And now, from now on, we're going to be doing some interesting things. A lot of different topics in the villages that I can choose. So, we're going to be getting going on them. Okay? All right. All right. So, we've got that in mind. Okay. So, let's look at this. Listing pending sold. Maybe if I get over here, it'll make more sense, huh? Oh yeah, listings, total listings, uh, these figures are from July 31st, that's on a Monday and that's for the previous week, they're from MLS, they have nothing to do with property of the villages, okay? So when we go, listings, total listings, 299.308, not a big difference. This is, again, one of the reasons why I think we'll be better served with doing monthly listings. 258, 259, does that really matter? No. 58 to 59, days on market, does that really matter? No. 24 to 29, yeah, it's a little different, but it, it's just going to go up and down and stay in that range. So that's what we got here. That's on the new listings. Now if we go to pending, we got total pending, 42, 47. You know what, it does make more sense to be over here, doesn't it? Oh, and I hit, I hit the thing on the doorstop. The uh, spring. Okay, so pending 42.47. There were more last week. Square feet 255, 251. They've been hanging right in that 200, 245 to 260 number for months now. Uh, days on market 33, 34. You're starting to see a, a pattern here. And percentage change. This is not a number we like to see. The, the um, the price change on pending has gone down 5.8 percent to 4.8. So another whole percentage point difference in what that house was listed for to what it went pending for. So if you're a seller, that's not news you want to hear. And it's it's that figure anyway. Remember, is a median and average of all the properties. I know recently there was a property sold last week. I think or the week before. For 1.2 million, and that the original ask on that was 1.5 million. So that percentage does vary quite a lot on the price range that you're in. The lower price points seem to have less variation than the higher price properties. Okay. Now when we go to the sold, 
the sold part of our workshop here. We got 39, 41, 248, 242. Days on market, 34, 49. That's a, that's a significant number there, one of the few this week. Um, that the properties that sold this week, they sold a lot more quickly than the other ones. And this figure here, the percentage of properties that had to decrease their price before selling, 56%, that's been hanging right in there, over 50%, under 60 will it hit 60 I don't know, but maybe when we do the monthly things, we'll see a greater spread in these numbers. And the percentage of a decrease that they had 4.82, 4.83. So pretty close to 5%, and then we've been hanging in that number too for a while. Okay, so that's all I got for you today. I'm going to spend some time because the other videos that I make are a lot more time consuming than this, also. And I want to keep getting you good information out there. And I want to hit you with something you're going to be really interested in, risk really interested in every single week. Okay, so here's what you got to do don't forget the drill. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, please leave comments, let me know what you think about going to monthly, uh, and having a lot of other topics for you every week. Alright, with that said, this is Steve, your EXP Realtor in the Villages, Florida, signing off, and I'll see you next week.